Okay, so if you know me, or if you've been following my channel for a while, you probably know that outside of all the various nerdy things I do, like playing games and cosplaying and go to conventions, what I actually do, I suppose, as a, as a day job, is um, I'm a particle physicist. Um, technically, I'm doing my PhD in particle physics. I'm doing it with the University of Birmingham. Um, I'm currently in my third year of my PhD, and as part of the um, PhD uh, in particle physics, you have to do what's known as a long-term attachment or an LTA, where they send you away to work somewhere for an extended period of time. And of course, in the field of particle physics, like the best place to go is CERN, which I'm sure people must have heard of. It's been all over the news, the place where they have the Large Hadron Collider, it's the place where the internet was invented. There's a lot of pretty crazy cool stuff going on at CERN. God, crazy cool. For those of you that don't know, the Large Hadron Collider and CERN are located uh, in Geneva, uh, just on the, uh, the Swiss-French border, and so that's what I've had to move temporarily whilst I'm doing my work out here. Um, I've been here since April 2015, it's made, you know, attending conventions a little complicated, having to get uh, costumes and stuff into uh, into the suitcase and onto the plane and flying back for these events, but I'm managing so far. Um, I'm down to be working here for 12 months, but I'm thinking of extending that and staying out until July 2016, in which, case, at which point I'll come back to Birmingham in the UK and uh, actually start writing up my thesis. and. Uh, yeah, put my research into words so I can actually graduate from this uh, this PhD. So what I thought I'd do is that whilst I'm out here and I've got my camera with me and whilst I'm getting back into the whole uh, idea of video blogging, I thought I might as well take my camera around CERN, maybe make a few videos, show people different parts, give people a bit of a tour, you know. If there's anything people want to see specifically, I can try and show, uh, show people, try and go and film it. Um, unfortunately, we're currently in the middle of um, an actual physics run, so like, we've been going since uh, the middle of summer. So you can't actually go underground, so I can't actually physically show you the Large Hadron Collider or any of the four detectors that are buried um, underneath the uh, Swiss-French countryside, uh, because it would be largely full of radiation, or there'll be people working down there. But there's still lots of stuff on the surface, on like the above-ground campus that I can show you. Just to give the video some sort of context, uh, the Large Hadron Collider is the ring with a 27km diameter and are positioned around the ring at four different points are the four detectors. Uh, these are where the collisions actually happen, so they sort of cycle around the ring and the collisions happen at the four, the four detectors and that's where uh, things were observed. That's where we record the data, that's where, you know, it's at these points that we're looking for the new particles and for the new physics that will come about. Uh, the four detectors are ATLAS, which is the detector that I work on, uh, CMS. Um, ATLAS and CMS are both sort of two of a kind. They're both, um, I suppose you could call them discovery machines. Their job is to look for new particles. Um, the other ones are LHCB, which is trying to, uh, is doing experiments into researching the difference, the imbalance, as it were, between matter and antimatter in the universe. The theory is you need to have equal amounts, but our universe is made out of matter with, with very little antimatter, so LHTV's job is trying to work that out. And uh, the last one is ALICE, which um, ALICE tries to recreate the conditions immediately after the Big Bang by colliding large uh, heavy ions with uh, protons and then observing the quark gluon plasma that comes afterwards. But like I say, uh, the one I work on ATLAS is a discovery machine, so it was ATLAS that found the Higgs boson and there's various other exotic strange sort of particles that ATLAS is currently trying to, uh, trying to locate and discover. So um, I think during my talk I'll try and take you to the Atlas control room. I can show you all the, the computers and the fancy bits and bobs. I won't be able to take you underground and show you Atlas, unfortunately. But I'm sure there'll be plenty of stuff that I can show you. I might have to break this video up into several parts because I imagine there's going to be quite a lot to film and I might talk for a bit, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I'm out in the French countryside, which is uh, where I live, in a little village called saint Genis. What you can see here is the the Jura mountain range in France. You can just about see everything's starting to go nice and brown. It's autumn's coming. You can't quite see the top because of all the clouds. Just do a little spin round. The building's over there, that's the start of CERN, which is where we'll be heading shortly. 